Illegal dumping can take shape in many forms. It can be as simple as a single item, like this wooden entertainment system dumped just off the freeway. Or it could be much larger, like this dump site taking up nearly the entire alleyway. Through our investigation, we found those responsible are largely slipping through the cracks. It doesn't feel good, you know, it's kind of disgusting. <laughs> they should just take it to the dump. Rick Frisbee lives a few doors down from this dump site at an abandoned house near MLK in Burleigh. He's sick of people treating nearby alleyways and empty lots as their own personal dumping grounds. They've dumped it right in my driveway before. What does this say about the neighborhood, you know, when people who don't live over here drive by and they see this? Oh, we got a really good neighborhood. My neighbors are all cool. Everything's cool, but it just, they must come from somewhere else and dump it. Offenders have gotten more brazen in the last year. Our cameras caught this person on the north side. The truck is carrying a full payload when it turned down an alley near 20th and Atkinson. When we drove back around, that load was in the alley, steps away from a no dumping sign. Back in 2019, the Department of Neighborhood Services said it received 266 complaints of illegal dumping and 21 citations were written. In 2020, the city says they received 411 complaints for illegal dumping, but were only able to issue citations for 24 of them, resulting in $31,000 in fines. It's a crime DNS says is very difficult to prosecute. A lot of times people will get pictures or video of uh, someone, but you can't see a face or uh, it's not clear enough that you really don't get a license plate. Don Shewi is the residential building code enforcement manager with DNS. He tells us in many of their investigations, the person responsible for dumping wasn't very far away. We know that the illegal dumping cases that we've been able to successfully make, most of them uh, emanate from an area of about a two block radius. When they don't catch the person dumping, it can fall on the property owners to either clean up or pay up. I hate when these people come by with, with tires and stuff and dump them on your property, then the, land, then the bill inspector come in to give you a fine for someone else dumping on, on, next to you. John and Dietrich Love own and maintain several properties across the city. Cleaning up illegal dump sites and other litter has become part of the job, like filing taxes or collecting rent. If they don't, the city can find them the cost to clean up the debris. I pick up paper like this every day. I got a lot of houses. Tenor don't do it. I got to do it. it. Otherwise, I get, I'm the one who gets the fine. If an offender is caught, fines are as much as $5,000. Citations were up in 2020, but when offenders are fined, they aren't always paying up. In 2019, the I-Team found just one out of 15 convicted offenders paid their fine in full. In 2020, two of 27 convicted offenders fully paid their fines. Certainly that, that frustrates my division, it frustrates the court division, and should frustrate everybody. We issue enforcement and we want those people to be held accountable. If they're caught again, those who didn't pay could face even more serious penalties. But for those literally cleaning up their messes, they just want a clean and safe neighborhood. Would you please just stop doing it, you know? Just take it to the landfill like you're supposed to. Just please stop dumping it in our alley. We reported this dump site near MLK and Burleigh to the city, and it was cleaned up the very next day. We also reported the person we caught on our cameras illegally dumping. You can do the same, and if that person is caught, you could possibly receive a cash reward. We'll show you how at TMJ4.com. Just look for this story. Reporting for the I-Team in Milwaukee, I'm Sean Gallagher.